I just got a new secret godly in the Murder Mystery 2 Easter update. So as you guys know, yesterday the Easter update for Murder Mystery 2 came out. It has been a lot of fun. Hope you guys have been enjoying the event so far. I've gotten quite a bit of progress in the events. I've gotten pretty unlucky with the rare eggs, sadly, but you know, I'm working on it. We're getting there. But anyway, yeah, guys, in the previous episode, we went ahead and showed the brand new godlies for the Easter event here. You know, the flower wood knife and gun. These are honestly really cool godlies. Unfortunately, you do have to pay Robux to get them, but they are pretty cool godlies regardless. So, you know, be sure to check out that video if you haven't done so. But guys, believe it or not, that is actually not the only godlies that have been added to this update. There's actually a couple secret godlies that have been added that not a lot of people have. And believe it or not, I actually have one of them. Because the release of the Easter update also marks the end of the Christmas event. Sounds pretty obvious, but the Christmas event for Murder Mystery 2 is officially over. Now, it has been sort of over for a while where, you know, you could still spend your snow tokens if you had any left over. But yeah, now that option is no longer there. Okay, so cool. Those knives are unobtainable. Why does that mean anything? Well, guys, if you remember, the Christmas event actually has some competitive leaderboards. And if you make it on the leaderboards, you actually get rewarded with some prizes. And when the Christmas update dropped, those items came out. So now we have them. They are available. And guys, in this video, I managed to get one of the leaderboard prizes. So that's what we're going to check out in this video. Now, these leaderboard prizes are extremely rare because there's only 100 of them in existence you have to be in the top 100 leaderboard to get the prizes so you're probably not gonna see many other people with this secret godly but yeah guys drop some likes if you're excited and let's get into it now guys as you know i've grinded the gifted leaderboard before so for those of you guys who haven't seen my previous videos let's quickly go over all the prizes i've got so far so the first time i grinded for the gifted leaderboard was in 2020 and for that prize i got the red ice blaster here it is right here this is the one I got in 2020. This is not the brand new Secret Godly. But yeah, I got the Red Ice Blaster. And it is really hype because there's actually not a lot of red trophies in Murder Mystery 2. Nine times out of ten when there's a leaderboard trophy, uh, they end up becoming blue. But of course, for something like Ice Blaster, that doesn't make a lot of sense because it's blue by default. So why would the leaderboard prize be blue? Obviously, it makes sense for the trophy to be red. Either way, it was super hyped to get a red trophy for my very first one, because again, most of the time, it's blue. Anyway, the very next year, I grinded the gifting leaderboard again, and I got the blue swirly gun right here. So here's the blue swirly gun. This is the second leaderboard prize I got. And, you know, it was, it was all right. I do like the blue swirly gun. You know, it looks nice. I like the blue on it. It looks clean, but I don't know. I was never too crazy about the swirly gun to begin with, and when you thought about it, this was my third swirly gun that I had in my inventory. Because, of course, you know, we have the normal swirly gun right here, but then we also have the chroma swirly gun, which changes colors. So, like, I don't know, did I really need a third variant of the swirly gun? Like, the blue one is fine, but I already have a red one and a chroma one. It just got kind of annoying at some point. And, you know, of course, it was another gun, so I couldn't even use my two trophies together as a set. The red and the blue wouldn't really go together, but, you know, it would have been cool to at least use them together as a set, but I couldn't because, you know, they were both guns. Either way, it was cool to get a blue swirly gun, but definitely wasn't as hype as the last trophy. And then I grinded for it again in 2022, and the trophy that we got for this one is probably the most hype of them all. I got the red ice crusher. Look at this, dude. This is still one of my most favorite knives to this day. We got a red hammer. This is still super hype to me because, again, even up to this point, there has never been a hammer in Murder Mystery 2. Ice Crusher Ancient Form is the only one to do so. And again, getting a second red trophy is very hype, especially given the fact that it was a knife this time around, which means I'm able to use my red Ice Blaster and Ice Crusher together, and this set looks absolutely sick. I love this. I still use this set all the time. It looks amazing. And I am so happy I got the red Ice Crusher. Now, I know the token leaderboard, you know, they got the red Ice Piercer. They got the super cool crossbow with the unique trail and sound effect but honestly i preferred the red ice crusher i honestly wanted that instead of the ice piercer i was really happy to get this because again it just goes so well with the red ice blaster it goes together perfectly so i was just happy to have a trophy set but unfortunately that led the blue swirly gun to be the sort of awkward middle child of the group you know it was blue unlike my other trophies and there was really nothing that could pair well 
with the blue swirly gun so i never really used it that much it was kind of just there and it didn't really have a knife to complement it to consider it a set until today ladies and gentlemen because i grinded for the christmas gifting leaderboard one more time and the prizes for that have finally been released today and that's what we're going to be showing off today ladies and gentlemen so without further ado guys my brand new leaderboard trophy and the brand new secret godly for the easter event ladies and gentlemen i present to you the blue ginger scythe yeah uh nicholas buddy yeah um i don't know if you know this but that's not that's not a scythe it's called the blue ginger scythe but it's not even a the scythe it's not it's not a scythe that's it's, it's like a, a sword you know anyway we'll, we'll talk about the name later let's just go into a private server and try it out okay and yeah guys here it is my brand new trophy the blue ginger scythe i called it a secret golly although it technically is a unique usually the gold oranges tier is considered you know the unique tier of course you know we have the toys right here the uh the nerf guns uh corrupt is in this tier and then of course we have the leaderboard prizes in this tier as well but anyway yeah as you can see it is a sword made completely out of gingerbread cookie it also has a lot of white frosting it's got some white gumdrops as well right here as you can see the handle of the knife seems to have a peppermint pattern though of course it is blue instead of red and yeah as you can see it is basically just a nice blue sword i, I guess it could be considered a scimitar maybe a scimitar a cutlass if you will and of course most notably it is a blue knife so it actually goes pretty well with my blue swirly gun that i got a couple years back now of course the knife is a little bit brighter than the gun which i was kind of worried that it wouldn't fit very well because of that but i actually kind of like the contrast you know i kind of like how the knife is kind of bright and the gun is a little bit darker and you know the blue is relatively the same it's about the same maybe the swirly gun is a little bit of a darker blue but i don't know i actually kind of like the contrast i would say this set goes pretty well so you know the the blue swirly gun is no longer the awkward middle child you know it, it has a knife to complement it pretty well and don't get me wrong the red set is definitely still my favorite you know you can't beat the combination of the red ice blaster and red ice crusher but this definitely does give me a lot more incentive to use the blue swirly gun every now and then because you know i have a blue ginger scythe to go with it so yeah guys in order to get this knife you had to be in the top 100 in the gifting leaderboard during the christmas event now as you guys know during the christmas event there's actually two different leaderboards one of them is the token leaderboard where you know you have to go around the map collecting tokens and the top 100 people to collect the most amount of tokens they end up getting a prize but for the christmas event there's also a second leaderboard where you give the most amount of gifts to people you guys probably know that during christmas events there is a gifting center system where you can give presents to people and yeah the top 100 people to give presents end up getting a reward and they're pretty different leaderboards by themselves now you know when it comes to the token leaderboard you know you can buy tokens with robux but the tokens that you get from spending robux actually don't count towards the leaderboard so if you want to get on the token leaderboard you know you have to grind it for yourself you have to play you know hours on end to collect all those tokens you can't really pay your way through that leaderboard whereas the gifting leaderboard on the other hand is actually completely pay to win it is a straight up pay to win leaderboard you know you can spend robux buy tokens and then you can spend those tokens on presents and then you can give those presents away and those completely count for the leaderboard which sounds kind of dumb in theory but again you know we have the token leaderboard for people who want to grind so it kind of balances out you know you can you can put a lot of time and effort into grinding the token leaderboard or if you have a lot of robux you can just get one by spending robux and you can give presents in the process which is really fun so i have a lot of trophies and a lot of people ask how much time it takes to get the trophy and you know i can't really answer that because i've always gone for the gifting leaderboard the gifting leaderboard does not take a lot of time to grind at all you could easily get it done in just one day but it is a pretty expensive leaderboard you have to pay a lot of robux in order to get on this and i mean a lot of robux so if you're a ugc creator or a developer or just someone with a lot of money you could probably get on the leaderboard but it's definitely not easy me personally i actually had to sell my halloween dominus in order to get on this leaderboard 
which in my opinion was worth it because you know I, I don't really wear avatar items as you can see but it's kind of crazy to think about I had to sell a Halloween Dominus and even then I still had to spend quite a bit of money on Robux so yeah again a lot of people ask how much time it takes to get all these trophies for me personally it doesn't really take a lot of time to get on the leaderboard you can get on it pretty quickly although i was thinking of getting on a halloween leaderboard where you have to grind i don't know i i just thought it'd be something to try out it didn't really pan out but from my experience it definitely takes a lot of time to get on the token leaderboard there's just hundreds of thousands of people playing murder mystery 2 and to be in the top 100 you definitely have to put in a lot of time every single day. Anyway, I guess we'll go ahead and talk about this knife in a little bit more detail, and we'll address the elephant in the room. Why is it called a scythe when it's not a scythe? Now, I'm sure you guys have already figured this out, but this knife is a reskin of the Evo knife that we got in the Christmas event, the Ginger Scythe right here. It is based off of the Ginger Scythe Evo, and to this knife's credit, you know, it does become a scythe eventually. Here it is right here. This is what the ancient form looks like. But overall, I do think the Ginger Scythe was a pretty dumb name. Like, yes, the Ginger Scythe name, it works for the ancient form, but it really doesn't work for any of the other forms. And I feel like when you're making an Evo knife, you need to consider these other forms, you know what I mean? We've gotten other Evo knives in the past, and those names have kind of worked. You know, the Reaver Evo, you know, that kind of makes sense. If it was the Reaver Scythe, then it wouldn't make sense but it's just called the Reaver. So, you know, the name Reaver kind of makes sense for these other forms. Same with the Ice Crusher. The Ice Crusher was an Evo as well, and it's just a pretty general name that applies to all of these weapons. You know, the name makes sense. And then we got the Ginger Scythe, and they kind of fumbled the bag because, you know, that name applies to the Ancient, but really not to anything else. But yeah, the point is the Blue Ginger Scythe is based off of an Evo knife. Now, interestingly enough, last year when we got the Red Ice Crusher, it was based off of its ancient form but this time around with the blue ginger scythe they decided to use the godly form for the reskin instead so why do they choose to reskin the sort of mediocre godly form instead of this really epic ancient form that we have right here this huge you know ginger scythe and there's actually a number of reasons for that but i would say the number one reason is because most leaderboard grinders actually wanted the godly form instead apparently so here's the thing and you might have heard other youtubers talking about this but there's actually a secret discord server that is only for leaderboard grinders. If you want to get in the Discord server for yourself, good luck, because you're gonna need one of these trophies if you want to get in. Or at the very least, you're gonna need some evidence that you're currently trying to get on one of the leaderboards. They might let you in for a bit, and then, you know, if you fail the leaderboard grind, they'll kick you out. But yeah, there is a secret Discord server for leaderboard grinders. And believe it or not, guys, the creator of these trophies, I don't have a use, he's actually in that Discord server. And after the event's leaderboard ends all of the grinders are able to choose which weapon they want to get so leaderboard grinders can vote for what they want and i don't have a use takes that into consideration now the people who grinded for the token leaderboard actually voted to get a blue ginger scope now of course you know i didn't grind for that leaderboard i don't have a blue ginger scope on me but yeah they got the blue ginger scope so you know imagine this but uh blue yeah that's what people in the token leaderboard got now in a perfect world the gifting leaderboard probably would have gotten this but when it comes to christmas voting the token leaderboard tends to get first dibs on you know whatever they vote for because because you know they spend the most time and you know they tend to work the hardest for their leaderboard prize even though we technically had to work for the money that we got to spend on our gifting leaderboard prize get yeah, wait a minute what why do they get first dibs like think about it we pay for our leaderboard prize. Uh, like, we practically double Nicholas's paycheck for the month of December. And and they get the first divs. They get free handouts. Uh, like, come on. I don't have a use. We're, we're practically funding this game. The least you could do is give us a blue sniper. I'm, I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> Just saying, I'm joking. You know, it definitely makes sense that the people who grind the token leaderboard, they should get the first call. But a blue sniper would have been kind of cool. But, you know, it is what it is. So for the gifting leaderboard, that left pretty much all the other godlies up for grabs. You know, of course, Evergreen was an option that nobody really wanted. And of course, there was an option for the Ginger Scythe for both godly and ancient form. And despite what might seem like the correct choice, the gifting grinders ended up voting for the godly form instead. Which, I'm not gonna lie, is a little unfortunate. I would have really liked to see a blue scythe in the game. You know, I voted for the scythe. I tried to advocate for it, but at the end of the day, 
the godly form won the poll by quite a bit. I don't know. I, I guess I can see where they're coming from because, I mean, let's be honest, the scythe is a little goofy. You know, it, it's clipping through my leg. It just doesn't really fit on my side all that well. I, I can see where they're coming from. But I don't know, dude. We're playing a 10-year-old game. I don't really know if realism is what we're going for here. And when you hold it out, it honestly does look pretty cool. Okay, I don't know. I don't know about that slashing. That slashing down animation. Okay, that. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why we flip it over. Why does it go upside down like that? But again, it's a 10 year old game. I don't really know if we're going for something super realistic. And I don't know. I just think getting a blue scythe would have been really cool. Why? Why does it go in the wall like that? Okay, the more I'm recording this video, the more I see why we didn't want it. Ancient Ginger Scythe, I love you but you're not making a good case for yourself. I don't know, they could have fixed these issues. <laughs> they could have fixed these issues. They still can if they want to. They could completely remaster this knife. And if they do remaster this knife and you know, the leaderboard grinders still have the godly form, you guys are gonna be sorry that you voted that you didn't vote for this, you know what I mean? Either way, I would have really liked to see a blue scythe, but uh, speaking of blue scythes, that might actually be another reason why we didn't get the ancient form because here's a little bit of a historical fact that i learned recently so back in i believe the 2019 halloween event back in halloween 2019 we got the blue elderwood revolver that was the leaderboard prize for that event but believe it or not we were originally going to get a blue elderwood scythe that was actually something we were going to get and Nicholas himself actually turned it down. He actually completely disapproved of the blue Elderwood Scythe. And the reason for that is actually because of another blue Scythe that is in the game. You guys probably already know what I'm talking about, the Nick Scythe. It is the exclusive developer item. It is a reskin of the Batwing, if I can find it right here. Yeah, the Batwing. Uh, it is a blue version of this knife right here. And yeah, if you're a developer or a tester or just a friend of Nicholas, you are able to get a blue version of the Batwing and it's called the Nick Scythe. It is by far the rarest knife in the game. I don't know exactly how many there are. There might be like less than 10 in existence, definitely less than 20. And yeah, we were originally going to get a blue Elderwood Scythe, but Nicholas ended up disapproving of that because apparently you know, another blue scythe in the game that's just too similar to the Nick scythe. Honestly, in all fairness, even if the leaderboard grinders ended up voting for the blue ginger scythe ancient form, Nicholas might not have liked it anyway because he did disapprove of the blue elderwood scythe, so I could honestly see him doing the same for the blue ginger scythe. So, I don't know. At the end of the day, while I do like the ancient form of the ginger scythe, maybe the godly form was actually the way to go. Because Nicholas probably would have disapproved of a blue ginger scythe anyway. It would have looked too similar to the Nick scythe. So, yeah, because of what the leaderboard grinders voted for, and because Nicholas does not like blue scythes, this is what we ended up getting. We got the blue ginger scythe in its godly form. And all in all, it is a really cool knife. And overall, I think it does very much go well with the blue swirly gun. So now I have a blue set as well as a red set, which I think is really cool. That said, I am not calling this a scythe. From here on out, going forward, I am calling this the blue ginger sword. That is what I'm personally calling it. And you can call it the blue ginger scythe if you're weird like Nicholas, but this is not a scythe. This is a sword. So I'm calling it the blue ginger sword. That is its name. And Nicholas, if you're watching this, it is not too late to change the name of this knife. And yeah, overall, while the blue ginger sword is, you know, nothing super amazing and groundbreaking like the red ice crusher was for me, it does complement the blue swirly gun. So, you know, it, it's not a lonely trophy anymore. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. That is the secret godly for this Murder Mystery 2 Easter update. Not exactly Easter related, I think we found our way back into Christmas time, but there it is. That is the secret godly. Anyway, I have to go back to collecting rare eggs, and it's miserable, actually. So, uh, bye.